In this video, we shall cover the following topics related to the Vishuddhi Chakra. 1. Highlights of the Vishuddhi Chakra. 2. Symptoms of a weak Vishuddhi Chakra. 3. How to activate Vishuddhi or Throat Chakra. 4. Pranayama and meditation techniques for energizing Vishuddhi. 5. Vishuddhi and the spiritual doorway. 6. Symptoms of an awakened Vishuddhi. The Vishuddhi Chakra represents the throat chakra which are subtle nerve endings at the region of the throat. The throat is the center of communication and also knowledge. If the throat chakra attains positive energy, it shall fill the person with positive thoughts. Such a person will have control over his or her thoughts. One can use a powerful throat chakra to develop strong oratory skills and also wield language to one's advantage. One will develop capabilities to convince others with one's opinion. The result of such talk is popularity and liking among various classes of people. Many times a person with a powerful throat chakra shall receive instructions from a superior domain. With that, one can communicate in a powerful and effective way. On the other hand, a person with imbalanced Vishuddhi or throat chakra turns out to be a suppressed individual. Such a man fails to effectively keep his opinions or thoughts before others. He shall move around fearfully and shall remain dejected with life. People with this problem shall have stage fear and cannot face other people confidently. Naturally, such individuals have no control over thoughts or emotions. They remain incapable to even tell the difference between appropriate and inappropriate thoughts and actions. Indecisiveness is the highlight of a person with a weak Vishuddhi Chakra. Hence, it becomes important to activate the throat chakra. An imbalanced Vishuddhi Chakra also becomes a reason for many diseases. The nerve endings at the throat also meet the thyroid glands. Hyperthyroidism is a disease that is common among people with a weak Vishuddhi Chakra. One also suffers from insomnia and loss of appetite. A person may lose weight disproportionately. He can also have palpitations and difficulty in breathing. A weak Vishuddhi Chakra also gives constipation or one may also gain weight too much instead of losing weight. The nerve glands also connect with the important nerves of the brain that control the development of the brain. Thus, the chakra also contributes to the formulation of the intellect. Tantric Shastra says that Vishuddhi Chakra is key in shaping one's overall intelligence. A powerful means to activate this chakra is Brahmari Pranayama. One should inhale fully and fill the lungs as well as bloat the stomach. Hold the breath for a second and then leave out the breath slowly with a humming sound like a bee as hum. Every time we draw our breath, we breathe out with a ringing sound of the bee so that we feel the humming vibration in every organ of the body. The stress should be on feeling the throat vibrate. With practice, we have to learn to keep the humming for longer periods. One should start with doing these breathings seven times for the first week, once every day. Later, one should try to do this 21 times every day. One's voice quality shall automatically improve with the Brahmari Pranayama. Our voice will start possessing magnetic qualities it will then have the ability to attract people. Our voice cord will become free of distortions and words shall become sweet. Through meditation too, one can activate the throat chakra. One visualizes a 16 petaled flower which bears the color of the blue sky. The mantra one can focus on while meditating on the blue lotus is hum. Chanting the hum mantra directly for a fixed time with eyes closed, focusing on the letters of the sound can also activate the throat chakra.
as one chants, one can visualize the blue lotus parallel to the body. The lotus is moving in the clockwise direction if a third person is to be observing the meditator in front of him. Once meditation starts becoming good, one can then feel rotating energy circles at the throat region. One may also feel hot and cold waves at the throat region. When we start experiencing the energy, we can be sure of the throat chakra activation. One spiritual advantage of activating Vishuddhi chakra is that from the realm of materialism, one slowly graduates to the spiritual realm. It will be interesting to note that the Muladhara, the Swadhisthana and Manipuraka chakra represent the animalistic domain. The Anahata represents the transitional stage where one graduates from animal nature to human nature. One who graduates to the Vishuddhi chakra enters the realm of divinity. Graduating to the realm of the Vishuddhi chakra heralds one's entry into the stage of selflessness. One starts living beyond oneself. The person also starts thinking more about others rather than oneself. Vishuddhi Chakra is a milestone in our journey from animalistic tendencies to divine sensibilities. Vishuddhi means pure. Thus from being impure a man enters the pure domain, hence the name Vishuddhi Chakra. Vishuddhi Chakra is symbolized sometimes in terms of a white elephant. The elephant represents power while it being white represents the purity of energy form. Although the energy is fair and powerful, it is thoroughly motivated. A person whose consciousness is in the Vishuddhi Chakra is interested in doing well for society in general. So the energy tendency is Rajasik. People whose consciousness resides in the Vishuddhi Chakra want to make a positive difference to the world. Such energy cannot harm anyone but will contribute to the larger good of society.